My name is Chris Ward, and I want to welcome you to our CBT Micro Nuggets on creating docs in G Drive. Let's be honest, folks. I would say that when it comes to end user applications, 80% of the time you're looking for quick, concise, and convenient documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. Plus, you know, you want these available to you 24 7 anywhere you are at. And thus the world of Google Docs, which has transitioned now into G Drive. They've kind of combined a few things. Uh, you have your Google Docs, which is your Google Apps, uh, your basic things that have been added to now. You have space where you can uh, hold your files um, as you need them, which is what G Drive allows you to do. And what's really neat about G Drive is, is that you can actually uh, create um, a, a file folder system that integrates uh, G Drive for your PC, which uh, I'll show you here in just a second. So all these things together um, is uh, allowing you to have a one-stop cloud-based application, which is becoming the choice of even some of your major companies. So let's give you the famous CBT micro nugget view of G Drive and some of the cool nifty features that you can use and how to basically create some files, upload some files, and do some fun stuff. So the first thing that you will need, of course, is a, uh, a Google account, like a Gmail account. Now, we actually use the, the uh, G Drive and the Google apps as part of CBT Nuggets, of course, because, yeah, I know, I'm the Microsoft Office guy, but, uh, yeah, I've got an Office 365 series. Check it out. Great stuff. But uh, Google is awesome, and they've got some really neat stuff here. So let's go ahead and sign in here. And uh, once you do that, of course, uh, Gmail is pretty much the same. And a lot of times when you get your Gmail account, you'll notice that you're given some of these capabilities up here at the top. And one of them, very important, is Drive. So when you click on Google Drive, you get My Drive. Now, this is nice because uh, obviously this is integrated into uh, my uh, CBT Nuggets Gmail account. But from here, you have a place where you can upload files and keep them and have access to them anywhere in the world that you have a uh, internet connection, which, by the way, now with all of your uh, smartphones now being able to be tethered with their data plans to your laptops or iPads or, uh, you know, your Galaxy, you know, surfaces and all those other, uh, you know, pa uh, tablets that you have, um, it makes it very simple for you to access these things. So in this case, you can notice I've got a folder here that we, you know, put our micro nuggets in. I've got a document here. I've got my Word doc right there. Kind of shows you that. I've got a couple of my little CBT nuggets here that from, uh, from the summer that we uh, put this together. And then if you want, you can, of course, upload by simply clicking here and adding any files or complete folders of documents and, and things that are then available. And the nice thing about it is, is many of these are then editable. I know, is that a word? I think it is. Editable. Can be edited uh, here, especially the Word doc. You can, uh, when you do this, it will actually convert um, one of these uh, documents and you're able to access them here. But the, the big thing that I want to show you is the ability for you just to click here, create, and not only folder to put some files in, but I can create documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, and even drawings. And love it, Google's already expanding to where you can connect even more apps. These, of course, connected with the Google Apps, right? Uh, not only for personal use, but for small business. Now, let's say for just example, I want to uh, type up a quick letter. I log into my Gmail, get onto G Drive, I click on Document, and bada-bing, bada-boom. Here I am. And if you notice, I don't get all the bells and whistles that I might have with the full-blown Microsoft Word or uh, other word processing, but I get the stuff that's necessary. The ability to print, undo, redo, uh, paint format, uh, it's different paragraph styles, different fonts, and you can even add fonts. Check this out. You can add fonts to this. Uh, sizes, bolding, uh, coloring of the text, background, you can add comments, uh, and if you're share because you can share your document with people, paragraph formatting, bullets, all those kind of things. Uh, up here you have the ability to rename, download, you can publish to the web, you can edit, view, insert. So you got pictures, images. Uh, this is cool. Uh, math equations, very cool. And then uh, what I love about here is, is one of the tools you have is Translate Document. A show of hands out there on this micro nugget. Of course, I'm seeing your virtual hand. How many of you have used Google Translate? Very, very cool. Uh, does a fairly good job, according to several of my uh, Ukrainian friends. Uh, it gets the Ukrainian down pretty well. Awesome. So you can use that all within this document. Now, let's say I want to say this document is going to be Letter to Dan Sharb on G Drive. Okay, 
So I go ahead and I click uh, OK. And so um, here we go. There's my letter. And I can say, Dear Dan, C. Hope you are having a great day. Chris. So we have this. And again, just to show you, the formatting does work. Change the text. Don't go to syncopate. Uh, you know, we'll go up to 30 and uh, change uh, that's the background color we'll do uh, we'll do a nice blue there yeah, it looks nice and so now I have this set up now in the meantime you probably saw every once in a while up here it flashes a little saving saving all changes are saved to the drive so in G Drive all of the edits all the things you're do doing are saved instantaneously which is great now you can also save and share it to other people so I'm gonna share this uh, with uh, Dan Charbonneau who is uh, obviously one of our, C our CBT Nuggets Grand Poobah. I'll send a little message to him and say, Hey, Dan, just showing our cool CBT Nugget fans some G Drive. So he'll get this. I can send a copy to myself. I can paste the item itself into a different doc. I'll just go ahead and share and save. Boom, and now Dan can edit this as well. Rather simple rather quick. So now when I close this out, let's say my computer went down or I lost power or something, oh, no worries, because look right there, there's my letter to Dan Charb on the G Drive. Now again, you can do a whole bunch of other cool things just to really uh, finish this up today by showing you that if you click on the presentation, really cool. Uh, let's say you've been told by your boss you have to do a presentation to some customers and you got uh, an hour to get something put together. No problem. Oh, I didn't bring my uh, office uh, you know, 365 or something. That's okay. Let's just pick one of these fine themes here, select on it, and then I can add slides and titles with body, columns, captions, blank, and let me add a blank slide, so that's a blank slide. And here's my text and say, you know, welcome Earthlings to the planet. So we can do all these nifty things, and of course, we can not only share in this, but notice I can present this. So if I select, I can present it with notes, present it in a new window. It'll appear and work on my computer. I don't even have to have PowerPoint installed or Keynote or any of those. This will work within your web browser. So just a kind of a look at some of the cool things that we have here with G Drive as part of our micro nuggets. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.